The finance part, the finance department is at 4.1% or 4.10%. It's mostly related to wages. Um, the majority of the individuals in the department are part of the Teamsters Union contract, which hadn't passed for um, at least two years, I think. So um, they have some pay increases in there, plus the 2% that was given to non-union in 18 is in there. Under part-time wages, um, we have the records archive clerk, and the reflection there is in regards, that was one of the positions on the MRI study mm -hmm. that wasn't yeah. at the minimum level, so you as a board voted to move everyone halfway to the minimum, so that's calculated in there. The other thing I did add is under elected officials, which is the town treasurer, I put that in at 4%. Um, with the reasoning behind that being that she didn't get a raise in 18 because it was a default budget. So mm -hmm. I was giving her the two that I had in the 18 budget plus the two that's put into the 19 budget for non-union to keep her level with us. And other than that, there's just some minor changes in um, the line for like supplies and stuff because there's been a slight increase to like town reports and things like that. But if you go down here, I think the besides the 4.75 and the five in wages, the next increase is like 7%. And then there's other lines that are down 12. So it kind of all balances out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we have any questions, Mary Louise? Oh, yes. I found this three times now, tax collector, town clerk and in the treasurer. I have a great respect for our treasurer, but I think it's an insult to the public that voted a default budget to find a, uh, an elected official uh, trying to grab the 2% raise that would have been given had it not been a default budget and piggyback that on the next year. I think a 4% raise is an insult to the public, and I'm going to say the same thing when I get to tax collector and town clerk. I am very offended by, say, by someone saying that uh, we didn't get what we wanted in 2018, so we're going to double it for 2019. I just need to clarify right there that the town treasurer had, I just did that myself as that's been the past practice. She didn't request anything. Okay. Okay, well, so um, I'm still very you can offended. feel the way that you feel, but don't feel it towards Ellen because Ellen okay. didn't come in into my office and demand a 4%. <laughs> no, I really? did that for the right reason that... Yeah. She hadn't gotten anything. No. That's been the past way that we've handled it. So, yeah. but when the public um, says that would be shame on me, not shame on Ellen. When the public's, oh, I'm not trying to shame you, but when the public no. says no, they mean no, and you don't try to make it up in the okay. following year. How how many hours a week does Ellen work? I have no. We say like no. 40. Oh, not for no. us, no. Okay, because. I'm just trying to figure out about what do you have about an idea of what her average rate might be because she's only making even with the four percent increase. Doesn't matter. She's in twenty thousand one hundred fifty-five dollars. Right. She makes twenty-one thousand. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. I don't have any idea how many hours that she works. I mean, I'm sure there are weeks where she works a lot more because she does all the cash yeah. reconciliations and yeah. for all of the different accounts that we have and stuff like that. Um, and then she comes in weekly to sign the payroll checks and the accounts payable checks. Mm -hmm. um, so those, I think, are like the two largest yeah. tasks. Because I think as long as we're transparent and it's done throughout the organization, mm -hmm. then I don't have a problem. I just wanted to clarify that she didn't come in and ask for anything, that. so I don't want people to yeah. feel like it was Ellen in here saying, put me in for four. No, I'm, I'm glad just you followed the that. practice yeah. that we've gone right. That we've done in the past, didn't Thank it? You. But I still think it's a very okay. bad practice. Very good. Jim, do you have anything? No. Um, I just, and, I, and I'm just going to throw this out because I'm not sure myself. I'm totally unsure. Should an elected official go on a Warren article for a, for a, a raise? Ellen has never been handled that way, but I don't know the answer I'm to just, that. Uh, traditionally, in general, I'm saying. Traditionally in New Hampshire, there are two methods to give an elected official even a salary, right. stipends, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, a lot of towns have a warrant article in every warrant for every elected official that gets paid anything, and then you vote on each one of those in a single warrant article, mm. and you can amend them on the floor and so forth. Uh, other towns put it within the main budget. 
It depends on what the town wishes to do. And it has ours always been in the main budget? Or? No, ours has not always been in the main budget. I've, I've looked at town reports back to 1906, and it's been all over the place. <laughs> so uh, there was a very long period of time, traditionally in New Hampshire, uh, up through the 1940s, where there was a separate warrant article for salaries for elected yeah. officials. Uh, but then that started changing in the larger communities, and we are the 18th largest community in the state, so it was as things went along, yeah. those things sort of changed, and they, they yeah. worked their way into the budget cycle. Yeah. I believe in Ellen's tenure, she has had the stipend. Yes. Yeah. Yes, she has. Okay. I just, just wondering. Thank you. Any other questions on this budget? I just, I just want that corrected. And on the same page, um, audit is a different budget, but just so you know, the audit services are in there. They're down 8.81%. Uh, That's from the um, proposal that you guys, we put that out to bid and had the bidders come yeah. back, and mm -hmm. you guys approved that a couple of, I don't know, it could be months now. It's been so long, I don't remember. But that was approved by the board. We did send that out to bid in there. Um, we did bring it back to the board. So the audit services are going down 8.81%. I also want to mention that, I wish I don't remember the number, but I think, Fred, did they, I know the 17 audit went so well that we had it in the budget for 31,800 and I got a phone call the day that the audit was uh, delivered to us saying that since with um, their auditor's work and the work of the finance department all working so well together, that they were going to be able to honor, I believe it was the 26,000. Um, 24,734 was I think we have one more charged. bill coming, though. I think we have yeah. a little bit more coming. Right. So I think it was going to be 26,000, because I think the portion of the 29 here is broken into two pieces, 26,000 for the actual audit and 3,000 for a single audit. And so they always have to put that in there, um, because if you receive more than 750,000 mm -hmm. um, in funding grants for federal, state grants, or whatever, you have to have a single audit, too. So I believe that for 2017, yep. instead of being the 28, whatever it was supposed to be, it's going to be 26,000. So we did save some money in 18, and we'll be saving money in, um, I think it's a three-year contract. So the next three years, yeah. we'll be saving money on the audit also. Good. So that's good news. Very and good. when... We did the talk about the audit last week or the week before. Jim had asked, and the board, I believe, agreed to have the auditors come in. Yeah. I did hear back from them today, and they can come the 5th or whatever that following month. Not the, the Monday of the holiday, but the one after. I, don't, I didn't write the dates. I feel like it's the 5th so and the 15th. The 1st of November? Um, of November, yeah. So they can come the 5th, I think, and the 15th. Let me look at my calendar. Is the 15th a Monday? The 5th and the 12th? And the 12th. No, the 12th, I th let's see, November. Isn't the 12th a holiday? Maybe it was the 5th and the 19th okay, that they the offered up. The no, Thanksgiving is the only 12th. Yeah, Definitely so I think they offered maybe. up either of those uh, Monday nights. So if you want us to go back and Fred and I can look say. at the schedule and see which one looks okay, I guess what, the busiest, but they're willing best, to yeah. come down for either of those two nights. So. Okay. Monday night the 12th is what you're talking about. I think the 12th is a holiday, so I think they were it offering up the I think they're offering up the 5th or the 19th. Yeah, both both of those are meeting nights. So, um, I didn't know if you the board had a preference or if you just want Fred and I to get something on the calendar, but I did want to bring that up because Jim had brought that up, and I think maybe even Regina brought it up. A couple yeah, I ago, think so. either one of those dates is fine by me. Yeah. Okay. Now, when we were not to bid, we're with the same auto company. Too. Yes. Three right, years. So so it's good. And the reason probably that it dropped is because you do a good job. Yeah. Give, the material you send to them is in such good form, yes? As well as w the working relationship <laughs> yeah. we have developed. But yes. I mean, no. I mean, I think that should be pointed out. I agree with yeah. Jim on that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I also, when I was an auditor, we used to always tell people every few years, even, you know, if you think you're right with having us as a firm, which usually they did get us, you yeah. should go out and bid so that you can yeah. see what the right. pricing is and what the competition right. is. So. Right. And I also had mentioned to Regina for sure when she was in that um, the lead auditor is the same, but they do switch because we used to have Scott, now we've had Tyler like the last Whatever. two years. So that has changed. But they also bring in lots of interns, and there's always different people. So all yeah. of the... Um, lower men on the totem pole, so to speak, that they bring in are a variety... 
variety of ba backgrounds and come from different walks of life, different educations, and they ask different questions all of the time. And sometimes they'll question something that we've been doing forever, and I'll be like, it's neat. we've been doing yeah. that forever. So I think a lot of people always think you need to change auditors to get a different um, <laughs> view or perspective and that's not necessarily true because I get one every single year and I kind of look at them sometimes and then I'll look at Tyler and go really and he'll go yeah really answer the question you know type of a thing so you do get a variety even though it's the same firm that's good thank you uh, if, before we take a final vote on this I would like the salary for the treasurer recalculated for a straight 2% raise for 2019 were we taking a vote on this tonight? Well, we no. I think I she just, means for next week. Yeah, well, we do the she final She wants to know review. what the figure is. She's, okay. She doesn't, I don't want her to have to sit down and start fiddling so around with figures now. So we do it for 2% for yes. when we vote But I will be asking that again when we do the final review. Okay. Who's next? <laughs>